Hey guys, it's Dave. Happy New Year. Today I'd like to tell you about some of the exciting events we have upcoming in the space industry for 2024. It's really been an amazing time to be a fan of the space industry as well as an investor in the space. Uh, we've had so much exciting events in the past year. It's Just looking back, we had the test launches of the SpaceX Starship, an extremely exciting new vehicle, which were quite successful. Obviously, it didn't get all the way to orbit, but quite the spectacle to watch. Extremely exciting. SpaceX making a lot of progress with Falcon 9 as well. A truly bonkers cadence uh, looking to push into the triple digits this year. Absolutely crazy. Of course, there were some disappointments as well in 2023. We didn't see New Glenn launch being delayed once again. We didn't see ULA's Vulcan launch with more and more delays. We didn't see the Ariane 6 launch. And Rocket Lab did have an anomaly as well as Firefly's Alpha vehicle and a, a truly horrible year for Astra and their stock. But that was all this year, and I wanted to give you a quick preview as well as predictions of what do I expect to happen in the space industry in the year 2024. Let me know down in the comments as well anything you disagree with, any predictions you may have for the coming year. I'm really excited. We've got a lot of big events coming up for Rocket Lab as well as the larger industry. Before we dive into that though, please consider hitting subscribe. It'll help out the channel very much, and if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Uh, those likes do always help out with the video getting shown to more folks. So first up, we have to talk about SpaceX. Obviously, they're really the juggernaut in the space industry. It's crazy how fast that changed from the plucky little guys looking to disrupt things to, you know, the behemoth launching the vast majority of all payloads and mass into low Earth orbit, at least in the Western world first Starship in 2024. We should have a lot of exciting events to watch depending on, you know, how much the regulatory red tape delays them. We should see many test launches of the Starship. So some things I'm looking forward to and expecting to see in 2024 for Starship is I think they'll do a full orbit, probably even in the next test, I would expect them to actually make it to orbit in Starship. Every launch so far, they've made it further and made more progress. Very exciting to see. And then beyond that, I do think in 2024, we should see them actually deliver some useful payloads to Earth orbit should be extremely exciting. Now, just because a vehicle delivers some Starlink satellites to orbit doesn't necessarily mean it will land successfully and be recovered, but I think they should at least be able to get some Starlinks into orbit on a Starship. At least I certainly hope so, and that will be another exciting event to watch. But speaking of recovery, uh, wouldn't it shock me if they attempted to land on the, you know, uh, chopsticks with their landing equipment there, although they may not do that on some of the first few tests. It's really a high risk maneuver. If you miss, you can do massive damage to your ground infrastructure. So they, I'm sure they want to be very careful with that, make sure they have all the control down pat before they actually attempt catching this sucker out of midair. But if that does happen in 2024, it will be, of course, very exciting to watch, and hopefully that will allow them to get more data on things like those heat shield tiles and how re-entry works with the vehicle. Beyond Starship, we do expect Falcon 9 to have another record year. This vehicle is just launching like mad, like nothing we've ever seen before in the space industry for the entire existence of the industry. Extremely impressive stuff from SpaceX on that front. When it comes to crewed vehicles, we are looking forward to seeing the Polaris Dawn mission with Jared Isaacman, an all-civilian crew, going to uh, what I believe is the highest orbit uh, astronauts have ever been to around the Earth, as well as I believe the first spacewalk by a civilian, so that'll be an exciting one to watch, as well as the Axiom mission to the ISS, and um, well, let's hope that maybe Boeing gets their act together and a second vehicle does come online that is able to bring astronauts to and from the ISS. 
In terms of Starlink, I do expect them to have continued growth and profitability. And as I said, hopefully having Starship able to deliver some of those V2 satellites will help grow the constellation even larger. We did hear in 2023 that they broke even on the Starlink project. So 2024 should see continued scale as they hopefully use that to kind of fund the road to Mars. Next up, Rocket Lab. Many of you know one of my favorite space companies, one I'm invested in quite heavily. Uh, Rocket Lab has a extremely exciting 2024 on the books scheduled. They have 22, maybe 23 electron missions planned after just 10 in 2023. That represents more than 100% growth, more than a double. If they really can pull that off, it'll be extremely amazing. I'd be happy with just 20 launches. I mean, even, you know, 15 would be good growth off of 10 but you know I'm really hoping we do get 20 plus and that will really prove out the electron model it will be a 50 percent ish gross margin product and will deliver significant monies to the bottom line for the company in terms of the breakdown of these missions we will see nine reusable electrons launched at least two haste missions launched from Virginia, the rest being, you know, non-recoverable. Speaking of recovery, I do expect them to send a mission with nine reused engines to orbit very, very soon, probably in Q1 of 2024. And I do expect in 2024 to see a full booster reuse, and I have no reason to doubt why it wouldn't be a success. So um, in terms of predictions for Electron, I'm going to put my neck on the line and say I'm expecting at least 20 launches with zero failures. I really do think Electron, they've got it down now and uh, it's a very reliable vehicle. That last weird issue aside last year, I don't expect any more problems. At least here's hoping. On the Neutron front, I know management continues to say that they're hoping to get a launch off by the end of 2024. Personally, I have my doubts on that. I think it's more likely than not to slip to 2025, which is still an extremely aggressive timeline for the development of a new rocket. But I do think we will see some very significant hardware getting tested, getting ready to go. We already saw the second stage tank tested to destruction. I expect to see first stage tanks as well as Archimedes hot fire this year and something that looks a heck of a lot like a fully assembled Neutron getting ready to launch for 2025. So that will be very exciting as well. And hey, if they do manage to get a launch off, that will be absolutely amazing for the company and just to watch as a fan of the space industry. I do also expect considerable growth for Rocket Lab on their space systems side of the business. They did announce a massive new deal that more than doubled their overall backlog, and they should be recognizing some revenues from that Global Star deal we did hear so much about. Hopefully, we'll also hear more details around this large reaction wheel deal for a mega constellation customer, which most people believe is Amazon's Kuiper. Okay, next up, Blue Origin. So obviously disappointment after disappointment in terms of Nude Glenn that we haven't seen them launch. I know they've been working on this rocket for probably close to a decade at this point, uh, probably like over a decade since it was announced maybe. I'd have to go back and look. But I do think that there's a decent chance it does launch in 2024, or at least management of Blue Origin does feel extremely confident that it will launch. Uh, Jeff Bezos went on a recent interview. He said he's very confident it will launch next year. Blue Origin is also really shaking up their management. They fired their CEO. They're trying to move a lot quicker, and Jeff is planning to take a much more active role in ensuring they do so. So will they launch? Will they not launch? Maybe 50-50 or 60-40 in favor of them launching this year. Let me know what you think. Will they be able to launch down in the comments below? They do have a mission for NASA scheduled this August, and that mission is actually launching two satellites built by Rocket Lab to Mars, and uh, that's kind of set in stone. So hopefully they are able to get it ready in time.
And next up on the docket, we do have ULA. Of course, the Vulcan rocket was expected to launch in 2023, and then 2022, 2021, and 2020. Uh, it feels like every year it's expected to launch, but I do think that this year, 2024, it really should launch. They are extremely close. They were very close to even launching it on Christmas Eve, but um, it did get pushed into the new year. Nevertheless, that Vulcan rocket is pretty much ready to go. They're planned to launch very soon in Q1 of this year. That will be a very exciting event to watch. They do have supposedly seven planned flights for 2024. Personally, here's my Dave prediction for Vulcan. There's no way that they're going to get all seven flights launched in 2024 um maybe we'll see three i don't know that's my guess what do you think over under on three i think that's a little more reasonable than seven in in terms of will we see a failure you know i don't think so for vulcan ula has a more old school methodology where they don't launch until they're extremely confident that the thing's not going to blow up as opposed to spacex who love blowing up their rockets <laughs> so hopefully we won't see a complete failure at least in an rud on vulcan okay and then it comes to europe we have the ariane 6 rocket from ariane space so they did complete a successful full stage hot fire in 2023 towards the back half of the year i believe that was in november and they are planning to launch the Ariane 6 in 2024. Now, of course, this is another one like the Vulcan that's been delayed many times. It's had tons of development problems, and I've never made any secret of the fact that I don't think it's a very compelling vehicle in terms of the cost, but Europe does need a vehicle of their own. It's a strategic asset. It's something important. They don't want to only rely on United States-based companies for launch. So, Hopefully, Ariane 6 can fill that void and at least be a very reliable launch vehicle, even if it is fully expendable. I'd put this one at maybe 50-50 odds that it launches, maybe a little under 50% personally. We'll see. Um, they say they're scheduling a launch for mid-2024, but after all the delays we've seen previously with this rocket, I do have my doubts. But that test we saw in 2023 does give at least a little room for optimism. On Relativity's front, the big 3D printer who are 3D printing a few less parts these days, uh, the Terran R is not scheduled to launch this year and the Terran 1 is no longer launching at all. So we won't see any launches from Relativity, unfortunately, but they'll be working away on the back end getting their Terran our rocket ready for launch in 2024. We'll probably see some more static fire tests and things of that nature, but yeah, no launches from Relativity. And then on to Firefly. Well, their Alpha vehicle, it's a one-ton launcher. It hasn't had the best track record so far. In 2023, it did have one success, but it's had three failures and one success. So in terms of a percentage ratio, not too great. They'll be looking to approve upon that in 2024. Uh, it may take them a little while to figure out what caused the issues around their second stage not relighting properly. So I wouldn't expect them to launch all the missions they do have on their man manifest for 2024 which is five missions but hopefully they figure it out maybe get a couple launches off uh we'll have to see on that the future of this vehicle i think will be decided in the next couple launches if they have a couple more failures it's really hard to keep working on a vehicle with one success and say five failures that's kind of what happened with astra's rocket 3.3 system in terms of their larger medium lift vehicle inventively called mlv <laughs> um, it's also not scheduled to launch this year, looking more like a launch in 2025 if all things go well. So they'll be continuing to work on that on the back end as well as some other non-launch items. And then the Artemis program. It's really starting to ramp up now. We finally did see a successful launch of the SLS rocket in 2023, something that we've been waiting an extremely long time for, an extremely expensive rocket and uh, didn't have very long as the biggest rocket in the world, unfortunately. But we do really want to see people land on the moon again. At least I would like to see that in my lifetime. I've never seen it before. And uh, SLS is the plan for that to happen with Artemis. So the Artemis 2 mission, which will send a crew around the moon and then back to Earth, 
is scheduled for a launch no earlier than November of 2024. If they do manage to launch this, I will be extremely excited and obviously I'll love to watch it. It'll be a big event for the whole space industry. Personally, I am predicting it will be delayed into 2025. We've already seen so many delays with the SLS, with the whole Artemis program. Uh, I don't think we'll see it launch this year, but maybe we'll get lucky and you know everything will go right and we will get to see that launch. On the Clips side or the commercial side of the Artemis program, we are expecting to see two new commercial lunar landers attempt to land on the moon very soon. They will be flying on a Falcon 9 rocket. Uh, we have the Nova C lander from Intuitive Machines and the Peregrine lander from Astrobiotic. Both will be making the attempt to land on the moon and do some important science paving the way for astronauts to follow. Now, I would categorize both these missions as high risk, especially in the past few years. We've seen so many landers fail. Russian lander failed. We saw the Indian lander fail. We've seen that Japanese company ice uh, lander fail and uh, it's been very tough. Ultimately, India did manage to get it done, but you know, two new companies, they are landing on the moon for the first time. Wouldn't surprise me at all to see at least one failure. Hopefully we get a success, but if I had to guess, here's my prediction for 2024, at least one of these two lunar landers will fail. Probably not on launch, probably not getting there, but you know, landing successfully seems like it's just a very tough feat especially for young companies so those are some of the most exciting events we have to look forward to in 2024 let me know what i missed i'm sure there's a lot of other things going on that i wasn't able to get to and yes there was a little bias towards rockets because rockets are super cool <laughs> but um let me know what you're looking forward to most in 2024 and what your predictions are for these various projects Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.